everyone welcome back to lessons from the garden today we'll be harvesting some turmeric and we have two containers to be harvested so let's see the amount that we'll be getting from it all right so i'm sorry and that of course is behind the camera all right so let's go and harvest this is one pot right here and i have another pot looking like this and you can see and we do have some nice root systems going on and these are the turmerics so let's break them apart and see the actual amount that we'll get from it We're getting a good amount of turmeric. Already done the health benefits of turmeric, so we don't need to do it in this video. But what I noticed that is that when we use these turmerics our own, um, it is very, I mean, the, the color of it is so rich, stains your hand so easily, as opposed to the ones that we buy in the supermarket. Alright, so let's see what our harvest will be like. What I'm going to do for these parts down here, I'm going to cut them and then replant so we can get more turmeric from these. Alright, this is one massive um root bulb probably I should have worn a glove my hands are getting a bit discolored from the turmeric We have quite a number of lovely pieces in here. And look at these, look at the sizes of these. Wow, look at this batch right here. Just like harvesting <laughs> potato, you don't know what you'll be getting, but and that is the um the excitement of it. And how do you know when turmeric is to be harvested, when it's ready to be harvested? When the leaves start to die back and that like how these ones are looking just like that you will know that they need to be harvested and we're not done with one container yet and look at the amount that we're getting from just one container one container and look at these ones And you can use them to cook with, to make tea. They are so versatile. And if you don't want to use curry, um, you can use this instead of curry.
for our second pot. And this is what we got from our first pot. This is a good amount from our first pot. I'm giving it warm time because of the root system on it. See how pretty that is? Right. So pretty. Guys, you can grow anything in container, anything. Just try your hands on something because as you have seen, we grow almost anything in container. And most of the times we are very successful. This looks like the, the original part that we put in it. The, uh, what's it called it again? Name is slipping me. Okay guys, if you have ever planted turmeric, let us know in the comments. Um, how successful you are or you were with planting turmeric this looks like yes so we are finding these some of these pieces so these are from the what's, the name is just slipping me this is from what we planted out and then it produces all of these so we planted about three pieces and this looks like one of them and it produces all that you're seeing And you can smell the freshness of the turmeric. They're so fresh. And look how look how lovely they are. Nothing beats homegrown. So these can last us for some time. So we can add them to our meals. And of course, we we'll put them in our green juice. And also we will make tea with them. All right, guys, so these are the pieces that I cut from the ends of the turmeric root. And uh, we're going to plant back these so that we can get some more turmeric. So doing this, it will be easier for us to grow and produce quickly. All right, so let's look at our harvest. Right, so this is from one container. That's just one container, and then I'm going to add the second one to it now. So I'm going to allow them to cure for about a week, and then we can start using them.
So what I'm doing is just to use the same containers to plant back the turmeric in. And of course I'm going to revamp the dirt or the soil. Alright, so I just used some Ferti Plus to top dress. Alright guys, so I'm going to plant back these in it. So thank you for sticking along with us in today's video of Harvesting Our Turmeric. And we will see you in the next one. And do remember to start that garden one container at a time. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. So I'm cutting out some of the roots before adding it to the soil. When I'm through, I'm going to water them in and that's pretty much it.